Blessed Beltane, 2012. Okay, so here it is, your Beltane ritual. As I said before, there are flowers near each candle. So let's get started. We're going to call the quarters. Winds of Beltane North, acknowledge. Oops, sorry. I'm usually holding my paper when I do this. Winds of Beltane North, attend, acknowledge, and proclaim. Dust of Beltane East, light, attend. Acknowledge and proclaim. Flame of Beltane South. Attend, acknowledge, and proclaim. Mist of Beltane West. Attend. Attend. God, like. Acknowledge and proclaim. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now it's time to call the god and the goddess. I can sit you down. Hail, great goddess. Love is all around. Love is all around us. In and sense of flowers drift on the breeze to remind us all of your love for all of Earth's creatures. Okay, then you light the god candle. Hail, great horned god. The sun warms us to remind us of your protection and care for all creatures. Hail, Lord and Lady, please join me and bless this rite. Okay, um, to explain something here, so I usually do this outside, I have a fire pit, and um, I'm working on limited space here, but we're going to pretend that in my cauldron here I have lit a fire. So at this time you would light your fire, um, and you would say, you would face out east, um, out of the east the sun wells and whitens, the darkness trembles into the light, and the stars are extinguished like the lamps of the city. Oh, the God is awakened and ready. This I give to thee, O sacred fire, so that I and my family shall be spared from evil. Let your golden light shine on us. Okay, and then you walk around your cauldron three times or jump over it. Um, I have a small fire pit, so I tend to jump over it. Okay. Um, and then after you do that, you say, Maypole rise to the heavens, colored ribbons fluttering in the morning light. Step quickly in disposal, round and round, weaving love and harmony as the sun goes down. Circle in to touch the sky and out to manifest spirits rise. For the season's renewal each year, pledge of joy and peace within my home. Cast off the old and bring anew in the name of the Horned King. Um, and then you would take your, your fire offerings here and you'll place them in the fire. Okay. And as you do that, you say, Upon the wings of the fairy or the fiery flames, I give this, I, I give this, this offering of the goddess in the goddess's name, and do thank thee, horned god, for my family's blessing and for the joy within my right. Um, now you would do time. Um, now it would be time for cakes and ale. Um, and as I am a big uh, face supporter, um, I actually don't. 
consume cakes and ale at this time, but what I have in here, bring it into the light, is whole wheat bread with milk in the bottom. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's, there you go, milk. And then a pentacle drizzled aguave all around. And in the chalice is milk. And that is specifically for um, renewing the fairies. Clear a little bit of space. Okay, so then after cakes and ale, you would do any spell working that you want to do. Um, again, I don't really, I don't really do spell working this time. But one thing that I do do is <laughs> that I do is I write on a piece of paper um, anything that. I want to give a new life to, like, um, renewal of love in the home, renewal of peace, um, renewal of happiness, things like that nature. You write down all of the things that you're blessed for having and you want to continue to have throughout the year. You write it on a piece of paper and you throw it into your Beltane fire as well. Okay, let's check the time. We're doing good, yay! Okay, so... Um, now we're going to thank and release the god and the goddess. And again, I apologize for not listing this ahead of time, but you need a snuffer or a way to snuff out the candles. So we're going to put you right there. And you're going to say, Thank you, O great god and goddess, for blessing this Beltane night. I release you. Go if you wish. Stay if you will. Thank you for blessing my right. Um, and now it's time to thank and release the quarters. Um, and Oops! So sorry. You're going to start here. And this is a little bit different than I've ever recorded for you guys, but this is something that I do for everyone. You're going to hold the ribbon in your hand as you say this, okay? You're going to say, Miss of Beltane West, attend me no more this Beltane day, but are released into this prayer ribbon and go forth back to the spirits from which you came till next time we meet again, blessings upon you. And you snuff out the candle. Okay, so you've just put, and then you feel the energy flowing from the water into your ribbon, okay? And we're going to do that for each one. Smoke of Beltane South, attend me no more this day, but are released into this prayer ribbon. Go forth, back to the spirits from which you came, Till we till next time we meet again. Blessings on you. Again, you're gonna pick up your ribbon and hold it firmly in your hand while you say, Dust of Beltane East, attend me no more this day, but are released into this prayer ribbon. Go forth. Back to the spirits for which you came. Till next time we meet again. Blessings upon you. And last. Pick up your prayer ribbon. And you say, Winds of Beltane North, attend me no more this day, but are released into the prayer ribbon and go forth back to the spirits from which you came. Till next time we meet again, blessings upon you. Okay. Now here is kind of a crucial part here that I'm gonna need my hands for. My apologies, guys. Okay, so you can't see this, but what I'm doing right now is I've taken the prayer ribbon for the circle and it's in my hands pressing to the floor because we're now releasing the circle 
O great circle of Beltane love, attend me no more this day, but are released into this prayer ribbon, and go forth back to the spirits in which you came. Write blessings, and thank you for your energies. And then I always seal this prayer ribbon with a kiss. Um, so that's that. Whew. Okay, so now at this point you would snuff out all of your Unity candles and do your cleanups. And obviously you're going to want to take more time for your Beltane ritual. This one took me roughly 10 minutes. Um, and I usually take a while longer than that. But as you can see, if you're pressed for time, you can go as fast as you need to. So there you are. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Beltane ritual and we'll go on... Show, I'll show you how I get rid of the, um, excuse me, <laughs> and the next video I will show you how I put my offerings out as well as the prayer ribbons. Blessed be.